Hey guys, today we're going to look at how to use a spring scale to measure force. So first, this is a spring scale. And what you see here is it's just a scale that's going to measure these forces, and it works by having a spring that gets pulled. Um, so in order to measure the forces, you take the hook on this end, uh, connect it to whatever you want to measure the force of, and then as you pull on this, um, the scale will record whatever amount of force is on that. So first we have to know the units of force. Force is measured in units called Newtons, and those are abbreviated with a capital N, and if I can aim at this webcam right, I'll hold this up so you can see. See the N on there, it won't focus on it exactly, uh, but you can see there that it's measuring in Newtons. And so the first thing we have to do when we're using one of these spring scales is to calibrate the scale. Uh, so if I just hold this up and you can see zero newtons on there and you can see that it doesn't exactly line up to zero newtons. The place where you read this, which is that top of that green platform. Wow, I'm having trouble aiming this. My apologies, everyone. Uh, but you read from the top of that green platform and notice that when I just allow the thing to hang that doesn't come to zero. We want to fix that and the way we do that is by adjusting the very top of this and it'll be hard to see in the video but as you adjust this up or down it changes the position of that platform and by loosening it I can actually drop this, and I want to watch until the, that platform is right on zero. So now I'll hold this up, and you can see that that is now a calibrated and ready to go spring scale. So all I have to do is hang whatever I want from this, and you can see there it's measuring a force of two newtons. So that's how this kind of spring scale works. These come in all different kind of flavors, and here's a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, we have some that are kind of bigger and work on like a clock dial almost. Notice the same principle though, there's a hook here at the bottom and you hang something and adjust it that way. We also have um, these types. Again, you can see that clock dial kind of thing and you pull on it and it reads a force. Um, we have a smaller one here so this one won't measure as much force. You can see it doesn't require much to pull that down. Uh, and then we have these which are more hefty versions of the green one that I had earlier uh, that are capable of measuring more forces. So you can see you kind of have to work a little bit to get that one down. Um, all of these though work on the same principle in that it takes a certain amount of force to stretch that spring and by measuring the stretch of the spring you can measure the amount of force. Also don't forget our units for force we're always going to be measuring in newtons.